welcome back into the channel more dots gaming uh just want to bring some channel updates i i know i've been away for a while and sporadically putting out content <laughs> and i just kind of want to give an update where the channel was i kind of disappeared during uh the division two height for me i was really enjoying the heck out of division two putting out lots of fun content different build videos and different uh you know world war new york information and then i just kind of stopped and i hate that i kind of stopped um but the hiding pandemic hit i work in a big north uh, i work in a big uh, healthcare system and it got extremely nuts for us uh to say the least uh and we would my full-time job became my even double full-time job i was working like 15 16 20 hours uh, just extra it was just insane how many hours i was working uh and to keep up with that and then putting out content it, i just i couldn't do it i tried and i just i burnt out and I just need to step back, uh, make sure my priorities are set, make sure that I could focus on what need to be done. At the time, it was making sure that uh, my team and, and me and the, the organization could function as the pandemic was at its height uh, and the worst that we've seen. And just make sure that people were able to do their job, have the correct access, make sure our systems are up and running, uh, making sure that all the disaster recovery sites that were popping up for different locations for testing sites and then eventually vaccine sites uh, were just built correctly and users could schedule to those locations to take care of patients uh so that was you know that became more important than putting out the latest division two content video so if you've unsubscribed i understand i'm sorry for the lack of content but there are more important things in making sure that there was a video out there uh for people to engage on uh so uh that's where I disappeared to. And then uh, after that, in the midst of all that, uh, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer, stage three breast cancer. And it was kind of a shock for all of us. Uh, kind of came out of nowhere. And you hear all the horror stories of women going through breast cancer and uh, the, you know, having their breasts removed or uh, they don't make it. Uh, you know, they fight and fight and fight or it resurfaces after everything. So uh, mom went through the chemo battle and that was just heart wrenching and, and just a shot to the gut. Like, I can't believe my, my mom is going through this. Like, I just, it was just mentally draining and i was streaming here and there with it but i just wasn't fully into it because it was very hard to just stay focused on something like that even though you try to stay positive in it you know you walk in one day and you and you see your mom just like hung over and like just in pain because she can't handle the chemo the chemo is just like you know ripping her body body apart to kill the cancer uh it was just it, it was horrendous and i would never wish down anyone's mom or worst enemy and anywhere so to everyone out there whose moms or loved ones that you are going through breast cancer my heart is out to you and i wish you the best of luck and i hope everything uh, you are fighting through you make it out uh 100 safe and um just healthy so that's where I was too. Uh, and so now fast forward to about January ish. I really started getting my schedule together, figure out what I want to do. Mom is coming out of chemo. She just had a surgery two days ago and she's, you know, in a better place. Cause now she all has left is radiation and then she's done with radiation. And then we go celebrate in August, but my schedule is starting to get back on track. Uh, I had to change a little bit because of, uh, sports with the kids um so you know i have a very active life uh from work to family to kids my family always comes first um as much as i love the community that we're going to build uh i will i will always put my family first and that goes from my kids to my parents to my sisters to my amazing girlfriend um i will always put them first uh before i put content first uh so that's just that's just how i am and if you need to if you don't see videos coming out and feel like you need to unsubscribe i totally understand and i do thank you for spending any amount of time here uh watching videos hanging out chatting in the streams uh or just uh just in, in, you know consuming video consuming the content i'm putting out in any shape way shape or form so thank you all so much it does mean a lot that you're here so let's get to the channel updates
So the channel updates for the whole channel is going to be focused on moving away from MMORPGs. Uh, I think I need to be done with them. Uh, I will be probably playing Final Fantasy XIV offline on my off stream days uh, just to hang out with the FC that we built. Uh, but I won't be doing anything. I won't really be pushing to grow the community more or pushing it for stream. Uh, I think it's going to be something I just do casually on my own uh, and with the FC they already have. Uh, so Final Fantasy XIV is just kind of like my probably my like uh, de decompressing time from streaming. Uh, I don't want to cover MMORPGs on the stream. There actually will be two of them I do want to cover, but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but so there will be no Final Fantasy, no more MMORPGs on the channel. Uh, we are shifting from MMORPG to action RPG. I love ARPGs. Anything from Grim Dawn to Diablo 3 uh, to Diablo 2 Remastered, uh, you know, Path of Exiles, Path of Exiles 2, Neo, Outriders. Oh gosh, you name the, you name it, we're going to playing it. Uh, we're going to playing it, making videos on it, reviews, guides, build guides, boss guides, secrets, you, the whole nine yards, guys. We're going in. We're going all in with action RPGs I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm looking forward to, I think ARPGs are some of my favorite games. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's synergy. I love taking a game that has vast amounts of armor, vast amounts of ways to build, uh, and then just taking all that and finding that one synergy that you connect with and it just feels so good to play and you just rip through the game. Not finding the meta, who cares about the meta? Frig the meta. The meta is ridiculous. If you enjoy the meta, cool. Good. I'm, I'm glad you like to fart and bust his faces and kill them in a second. I don't like the meta. The meta just kind of breaks the game for me and just kind of ruins everything. It's like, oh, I threw a rock at the guy and killed him. Yay. I, I like to have a little bit of challenge while I'm still, you know, overpowered uh, and not just burn down the enemy just by farting in their face. Um, so that's where we're gonna go uh i probably will cover meta builds if some piece people do want to play that way i will also cover cheesy builds just in case people want to play that way uh you know i'm, I'm actually you know the the neo 2 there's a there's the uh, the fuma uh, the, the what I guess called I can't even think of the gear right now, but the Fuma Ninjutsu build, uh, where you can just the Fuma Ninja build, we can just put on ninja gear and gives you shuriken and kunai damage out the ass, and you can just cheese the whole game if you want to. So people like to play at that, and that's cool, and that's your way you like to play. And who am I to say you can't fart in front of frost bosses and just play that way, which is cool. So if you enjoy that, awesome. We're gonna have all that type of coverage here, uh, and also the different type of builds that I like to have, just type of a challenge still in the game, even though when you're a little bit powered, uh, you're not gonna one-shot bosses, you actually still have to fight them, do the mechanics, and actually get through the game. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of Outriders coverage, that's, that releases next week, we're gonna start covering that. Uh, then we have Neo 2, I'm releasing builds on so you can see a lot of that and the two mmos i'm covering are going to be elder scrolls online uh because that's not really an mmorpg along with guild wars 2 which is also not really a mmorpg and to me they fall more in line with an mmo mmo arpg uh because they also have they kind of have stats and gear that can synergize with your ability and your builds and you can change pretty much your build on the fly and just by changing a different piece of gear, it can synergize completely different from the build that you had that you had to a whole different type of build. Uh, I I view that as more of action RPG and the way the combat is as well. Uh, I understand they're always interconnected and like a Final Fantasy or a World of Warcraft. I get that, but in terms of the combat and the build, uh, to me they're more action RPG oriented. And I'm really excited to get back into uh, Guild Wars 2, start fresh. Uh, and and just kind of, and Elder Scrolls Online, uh, I don't really care for the end game, nor do I care for the combat, but I love being able to just to build a strong character and solo dungeons. Uh, and I want to put out guides for that because I think that's something. Um, I think it's just it's fun uh, to just go in and challenge yourself as a player with the build you have. How good am I to handle a solo dungeon? So, I mean, ASL will probably be more on the back burner of certain things that we do, but I will be playing it and putting out content for it. But you're going to see probably lots of Guild Wars 2, Outriders, Neo 2, Remnant from the Ashes, uh, and a bunch of other uh, action RPGs that are out there. So I'm looking really forward to this. I'm really excited for the direction that we're going uh, because this is where I feel like my passion is for gaming is action RPGs uh, because they are just just addicting. I, I think I put in the last two months uh, that the game has been out for Neo 2, I probably put in like 360 hours into this game. I've been playing it nonstop. I'm on New Game Plus Plus. New Game, new game Plus Plus 
plus oh, whatever however many pluses there are uh, but we're it's it's moving right along and it's actually a lot of fun and it's it's i think it's gonna be great to put out build guides and things like that especially getting back into division two i know content's coming out for that as well so i'm looking forward to diving back in hanging out with you guys and just making sure that you guys have some awesome content to watch uh while you're many of you are probably still working from home um in between jobs hopefully you have hope people who are in between jobs have found work and are getting back on their feet my my heart and prayers go out to you uh so i hope uh things are starting to look up and that's probably gonna do it for me guys uh and i love you all thank you all so much for popping into this channel and hanging out i would appreciate it if you guys actually like or comment or subscribe it helps the channel out more than you know and it actually helps getting out these types of videos to other people that might be interested uh in watching them so i appreciate you all i hope you have an awesome night peace out everyone